This is my new K40 laser that I got from a company called OM Tech on eBay. This is my old dog. Got him in Japan. Uh, at any rate, these things cost about 350 bucks. That's shipped. This one costs just a little bit more than that because it's got some upgrades to it and it's the newer version. These things come out of China. They're very inexpensive. They're cheap. Most of them are very poorly built. And this company, OM Tech, brings them in uh, from China, and then they do a QA process on them and make them kind of usable. And then most people that get these things, like me, upgrade them anyway. Uh, some of the upgrades that I've done so far, uh, one is I've added an air assist. This takes this tube right here, which is hooked to a pump outside of the unit. And uh, actually, it's hooked to this pump right here. And uh, what it does is it blows air uh, down on the surface that you're cutting and that pushes smoke away from the lens, uh, debris, makes for cleaner cuts, you don't get all that burning around the edges and things like that. Uh, one of the things OM Tech does is uh, they align the mirrors. Most of these companies do not align the mirrors and if you get one of these in the mail, and set it up and have never had one and don't know anything about optical mirror laser alignments you're in for a real treat it takes an hour most people an hour two or three to, to work through it uh, this thing was hardware controlled uh, this would light up when you turn the thing on and none of it works now like the test fire button none of that stuff works anymore because it's software controlled and that is because I replaced the stock card which is called an M2 Nano and I replaced it with something called an Awesome Tech Mini Gerbil and that allows this unit to send something called G-Code which a program called Lightburn can interpret and Lightburn is the best laser cutting software in the world so if you want to get a K40 and use it with Lightburn you've got to change this control card right here and it's not a very difficult thing you just unplug the old one and plug in the new one no big deal uh, one of the big things about these lasers that most people don't know is that uh, the laser tube is very very fragile uh, it's really easy to burn one of these things up this is a laser tube it's about a 30 or 35 watt laser tube even though the Chinese folks advertise it as being a 40 watt laser it's water cooled, it's full of, full of water. One thing you have to do is make sure you get all the air bubbles out or it'll arc and blow itself up. It cracks in shipment really easy. You bounce the thing around, it'll crack. And the no-go temperature that you're not supposed to operate above is 20 C. Uh, that's 68 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. And most people's homes, I know, are usually set around 70 or just a little bit higher so you put a bucket of water to cool your laser tube and it's going to be 70 degrees or more so it'll get the ambient uh, temperature of the air to settle in so how you get around that is you buy a couple bottles of water throw them in the freezer and freeze them I just took these out they're thawed out right now and as you could see from my gauge it said I was at 18.2 so I just float them in the bucket. This is distilled water here. And I see a little piece of paper or two floating around in here. That is probably from the plastic bottles. That's probably not good. I'll have to filter that stuff out of there. Otherwise, it'll go in the laser tube. So at any rate, that's my setup. And I love it. It cuts pretty good. It does a variety of projects. Uh, of course, it'll engrave on wood which I did, I thought that was kind of silly. Uh, it'll engrave slate. These are just some, some uh, coasters that I've made in the last couple of days. And sorry for the glare. And then it'll cut uh, uh, foam board, paper. Uh, it'll engrave on tumblers, whatever you want it to do, it'll, it'll do. It doesn't etch metal that well, but there are some people that have developed some hacks that allow it to do that. It's yet to engrave poodles, but uh, I'm working on it.